And I was just thinking, fuck off, mate. But then suddenly, like, regardless of any nice things you're getting, like, there's so much hate. That you had everything and then you have nothing over 24 hours like that. I was almost like, he needs some pain. I remember I was in my friend's car, literally, like, hand in my head, like, having a panic attack. Like, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. Fucking YouTube mugs, jump in the rim, celebrate, kept with KSI. Toby Jizzle, the only one that comes up to me. I don't forget that shit, bruv. You lot, welcome back. We are on waffling now, boys. Right? I'm just gonna rewind to when I was 17. Oh, brilliant. Okay, because I found something um, that I couldn't believe. Now you all know about the story of my overalls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when I was 17, I did work experience, and I was I would slope off, and obviously <laughs> wearing these overalls. You couldn't really take them out. Oh, you're fucking disgusting. So like, it's always the first ten wait, minutes so of wait, the wait, show so that's the worst. So you spunked in the overalls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we've established. I'm and then continued this. working for the rest of the Over day. Over what, buddy? Wait, hang on a second. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you've, never told this, you've never told this story. Haven't I? On Wobbling, surely. Yeah, wait, I think I he has. Just, he has. I can't really say all of it, but basically, it involves something that is probably illegal. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to fast forward now to now. Yeah. And say that on Ralph Lauren. Okay, for six hundred and twenty-two pounds, <laughs> bro. That's the overalls I was wearing. Tom, get I'm it out. Get it out. Have they, they got the spunk stains that on them? That's exactly what I'm saying. Right? This is what they look like. I couldn't believe that. They're going for six twenty. So what if we? Wait, I could exactly make, right. bro. I could make a new line. Why doesn't that be say, the new waffling merch? What you we, just line up a load of overalls and <laughs> spunk covered, on covered them. in your spunkable. <laughs> So I had a kid. <laughs> but I just saw but it. I, I, was like, spunk. I was like, I couldn't believe it. But um, Welcome yeah, back. I couldn't believe it. I'm actually waiting for what are you lot to say. No, we, are we agreeing? Wait, you know what you're going to say? Basically, what? if you look closely, no, 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 if, no, if you no, zoom no. in, like right now, if you zoom in, there's actual spunk mark. I know, look, okay. I mean, this show is 18 plus, but there's actual, <laughs> there's actual physical human spunk on his shirt and he hasn't washed it for the show. Which is quite disgusting. I uh, actually, why did you mention it? Because I forgot about it. Now, really? Every time I look at you, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's just, it's just fluids. <laughs> it's just fluids, mate. It's just fluids. I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, shit, I've exposed myself. No, I haven't. I just do this and I'm like. Do you care? Because I'm currently watching this on a Sunday on sofa with Elliot <laughs> and our girlfriends. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> well, we're currently watching it and I'm thinking, why do I do this to myself? Cause mate, because mate, after, after about half an hour, some people may have clicked off. At the very beginning, everyone's seeing <laughs> this It's always bit. the first 10 <laughs> minutes mate, of the show. It's literally always this <laughs> bit, but um, yeah, granted there is spunk on my top now. <laughs> Yeah, that is fucked up. Bro, is that, is that not right? It's, it's, it? no, it's not. Mate, whoa. Wait, whoa. The worst part about it is, is, is he hadn't put it in the wash. It was just sitting on this oh, chair. I forgot, bruv. Because I thought- And I you're like, oh mate, can you just pass me my shirt? So I picked it up, <laughs> physically picked it up, passed it to him. I think it'd be wrong if you hadn't shagged in the waffling merch. Oh. It would be, but it would have been nice to keep oh. it clean. Wait, 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 look at the eye. Oh my God, like, mate. It's really dotted now. Wait, 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 <laughs> mate, 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 that's not when you're shagging, No, it mate. isn't, mate. That's you spunked no, yourself bro, after bro. a turbo wank. No, that's exactly what it is. No, I've just remembered <laughs> now. Because he spunked it all up his chest. <laughs> Oi, move on, move on. Right, yeah. anyway, so you lot, as you can see, we've got a guest. Our first hey! one! Well, second, but first physical guest. Yeah, first one, technically believe in Bruce. Oh, no, wait. Oh, wait, we had KSI yeah, we as well. We had KSI, and now it's first one. So, um, yeah, we're straight into it. Obviously, we asked you guys to send in your questions as per. And obviously, this has been a topic that's been requested over and over again, like when is it gonna happen? And like the day's just here. Number one guest request, really? yeah. Well, like, yeah, probably is the number one guest request. Now, obviously, aside from like me and Elliot beef, a beef that has gone on for a long, long time that no one knew about, is obviously Fiat Theo and Elliot. <laughs> So let me so, get this straight. We're starting this show by, deflect, by deflecting what we're here to talk about, and you're putting it on me. Actually, just before we get into that, you seen the, the comments calling me fat? Huh? Now, nah, boys, I'm actually fucking <laughs> pissed off. <laughs> every, every day, Luke sends me a different comment. Nah, because it's actually harsh, right? It is, it is so, really wait, fucking out of order. Wait, wait, it's fucking out of order. This wide it's... angle, right? People keep saying, oh, Weller's on steroids. Wait. Look at his arm. Wait, what? Joe's arm looks deformed. Right, yeah. And Oofed. One... Joe's put on some pounds. Yeah. It started the other lot the other week, didn't it? Where it started, I think, is it just me or 
but it's Joe gaining weight. So it started off quite lightly, and we thought, walking, oh, that's a one-off. Walking out alive, is he? Do us a favour, chubby arms. <laughs> oh, but wait, 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 wait. wait do that. Where's my favourite? <laughs> oh, wait. Someone paused the podcast and tweeted us. And I'll send this to you, Tom, so pull it up. Paused at the wrong time. Looking a little puffy there, Joe. <laughs> puffy. That's so out of order. Puffy's so mean. It's so mean. Because today you're actually looking... I say every single week we've gone mm. on, is you're looking better. No, do you know what it is today? I've, cut, I've, I've been cutting my own hair, but I gave myself a haircut on top this time. Like those, really? you, those of you that are that are listening, like basically, just come onto the video like now. <laughs> but yeah, you know, this I, what does it not look like? I've cut my own hair. No, no, I'm saying that's impressive. I said, didn't I say when we set up? Does it look all right? Well, have a look. I think it looks better than Wait, last week. You look yeah. after me. I said when we were setting up the camera, your hair looks decent. See what I'm saying? I think last week where my hair was a bit, it looked like I was wearing a wig. I think that just made me look a bit fatter. Whatever makes you. Lose your hair, <laughs> your hair style. So I think that's what it is. No, 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 but you have openly admitted that you've not. Really stuck to you. Mate, your... it's called getting a girlfriend, bruv. I mean, not that I've 100% got one. You do. Okay, me and Elliot have girlfriends that are also girlfriend. best friends, and they're watching this with us on the sofa right now. <laughs> You're just talking to them right now. I am talking to them. Bye, you... girls. <laughs> <laughs> you look be- look, Joe, you look better today. That's all Wait, really? Bad. I've put you... on more weight. You've probably been more active Maybe. today. No, yeah, but, no, boys, I actually have. But enough of me. I'm just going to say, anyone that has put on weight in this lockdown, don't feel bad ab- about yourself. It's been cold. Coldy custards, right? What? No, you're like coldy custards. That's what my nan used to say to me. <laughs> it's like, the it's famous cold. saying. <laughs> yeah, like, like, is that, that not famous? Made that made that up, mate. Wait, really? She's like, oh, you're coldy custards. <laughs> coldy custards. Yeah, anyway, so, yeah, I've been coldy custards. So have you, <laughs> right? So we haven't been working out, right? Because I can't we, like, fuck off. Okay, no, do do it, but as in, yeah, that's the reason. So get off my back, buddy. And use your bulk powders code to get all Yeah, because it happens, it happens. Me, you know, me and Ethan, for example, as well, he's sponsored by bulk powders. He has dips. You know, no one's perfect. I think that's what we have to remember. And also, it's like, you know, on this show, we talk quite a lot about, you know, mental health. We're always nice. We're not nice to each other, but we're friends. We're always nice about people. Yeah. And then all of you just calling Joe fat. Yeah. It's quite hurtful. They called him a goblin. (laughs) They did call you a goblin. That's so inaccurate. No, no. It's actually... (laughs) No, because that's quite hurtful, because I can see it. Well, you can see it. Doesn't look like a goblin. (laughs) Oh, no, no, I don't... Okay, no, no, let's let's not get this true. Don't incite goblin hate. I just, when I look back at myself on camera, like, when I laugh, it's just a bit like... Pointy. Do you know what I mean? Do you know? Yeah, you know what I'm talking what, about. What, you're like not nose? Mm. Oh, you didn't. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> what? Oh, no one said anything about his nose. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, anyways, let's get into our first question of the day. Is this, can I just ask, is what? this question addressing the elephant in the room? What? Elliot, me, yeah. and everyone. Well, it's, it's on the topic. Well, just a um, yes. I haven't fully read it, so I don't even know what's going to be. But it was, hey, Luke, Joe, Theo, and Elliot Snakeford. Yeah. Get a life. Classic. Just get a life. Do you know what I mean? Right, here we go. Fucking dead banter from me there. He's, he, he clocked, he oh, clocked. so he did actually get a life. My question is a quick one for Elliot, and it's, where was his head at when everything, at, when everything happened? Wait. Happened? And how did he feel mentally with it all? But... Before, before wait, we go in, no, where no, this where the, where, so this where, she haven't allowed me, boys. <laughs> Never allowed me. So now at this point, this is what I'm going to say. Those of you that don't know, yes. basically, yeah, yeah, yes. let me do my job, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you that don't know, obviously, myself and Elliot used to make videos uh, around what, 2016, 20. That's 17. So long ago, you know. Yeah, innit? That's like, actually three mad. years ago. Yeah, three, three. Changed the game on YouTube. Haunted videos, which at first, when we did the first one, I didn't even think it was like a, a good idea. I was just like, oh, Wait, whose idea was it? It's Elliot. My idea, yeah. Straight up. Filler videos. Yeah, I just saw Ideas, it, man. In it, I just saw it as like a video. Oh, yeah, that'll do, like, fill in the gap this week. And obviously, it turned out to be massive, took over the internet. And obviously, like, people started copying and just faking it and just, like, ruining it. <laughs> um, just like the Penalty King. Yeah, in it. But um, yeah, and then obviously, training for my boxing fight. There was this issue that arose that really went public where, you know, just like us boys have fallen out and it was solved in like well, a couple of weeks. But, you know, <laughs> it was solved within weeks. Right. This took years for us to actually address and like meet face to face. But what it was, was I was training for my, for my boxing fight and against KSI. And I was getting into the thing of like, look, I can't have any distractions. This is it. I need to just focus on being health, fitness, this, that and the other. 
obviously you were continuing life as yeah. everyone does. And um, I was, yeah, I just thought like, I, can't, I don't want to be in and around that, like drinking and partying or whatever. I've got to just focus. So I start distancing myself. And obviously it all blew up at one big thing at the nightclub where, which resulted in Elliot calling KSI and saying something. So, but yeah, that, 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 that is an overall thing. So yeah. me and Luke want to dive into the details of, oh, of everything. So obviously a lot of people will not know a lot of things that we know. So let's take it right back. Yeah. Go on. Back buddy. to the start. Yeah. You first met in Starbucks. Yeah. Uh, Elliot, you were at uni. Basically, yeah, yeah. So I was at uh, Starbucks, working at Starbucks part-time while I was at uni um, at the Brighton Institute of Modern Music. Do oh, you regret yeah. dropping out? Uh, no, not really. You don't? Not really, no, because it was it was like either do 100% in one or 100% in the other yeah. rather than doing 50-50 and I was scraping some grade. And, and to be like, fair, probably what you've learned then is now going to help with future endeavours, right? Well, yeah. You're taking like, those experiences into future life. Exactly, and I was doing music, and if anything, now it would be better to work on a platform to release music on than just learn about basically doing that. Yeah. Now, guys, you guessed it. I'm back. I'm back with a big message from our sponsor on this video. And guess what they're giving you? Before you skip, a free case of eight beers, all of you. Free case of eight beers, obviously over 18s only, but the lovely people that have not only created Buxton beer, right, they've actually made a beer called Buxton, right? Basically, the guys at Beer 52 have got in contact with us and said, we want to give all of your followers free beer. Oh. And this is no normal beer. Basically, they go around the world trying the most delicate, the most crazy, the most hoppy, Beer <laughs> that you can possibly find. Now, quickly, look at what Luke is drinking from the Beer 52 range. So nice. Espresso milk. Wait, what's that? That espresso martini milk stout. So it's a stout that just tastes like an espresso martini. Mate, that was the first stout I ever tried. I don't usually like stouts. Oh, my God, he's trying a beer. Wait, that's actually good. Mate, it's, it's nice. It's it nice, actually tastes it? Wait, like I don't it. even like beer. Mate, this hazy IPA is a banger. You would love this. It's fruity. It's, ama it's amazing. Just like me. So my question to you is, do you want a free case of eight beers? If so, go to beer52.com slash waffling. Right, you see it on screen. Beer52.com slash waffling. All you have to do is pay postage, which is five ninety five. dollars right, It's standard because it's quite heavy. Um, but yeah, free beers are yours. Thank you, Beer52. We love you. On with the show. And that's the thing. So, like, when me and Elliot first started getting mates, I think it's easy to go, look, it's, it's clear what Elliot gets out of the situation. Yeah, right? I was going to speak about that. You get a platform to just, like, golden ticket, here you go, go whatever. But when I met Elliot, it was like, the last thing I'd made was Kitty. And I, it had been, like, a, a month or so, and I was just like, mate, I'm done. Like, I don't know what to make, you know, classic story yeah, yeah, yeah. of Weller, like, over and over again. <laughs> but, like, it's in, like, I was done. And, um, <clears throat> obviously, Elliot was a fan when he was working in Starbucks. And, like, from a fan's point of view, he'd obviously, like, say his input onto, like, what just what, what, he, what he thought spoke his mind. But that really, like, helped me. Like, really, really helped me. It's probably quite rare to get the opportunity, though, right? What, to what? actually... On a level one on one with an actual person who watches your stuff to get that feedback. Well, yeah, it's quite well, that, a that's the thing. And like, obviously, the way in which we connected at that point was just like, oh yeah, this is sick. And obviously, we made, you know, he was just like, oh, you know, let me let's let's just make any any random video, like football video, like that you're, you're good at making them, you you like making them. Let's just do one of them. Obviously, that was our first one. And then when the haunted idea came along, because like obviously I was feeding off off him and just like we were getting on well i was just like i trusted the idea i trusted that okay a haunted video you know is, it could work so that's and obviously we did that and, and our just our relationship just grew and grew in a way that was just like powerful like we, we was like create creatively it was just like it was a force and it was it was sick and i felt like you know when we were at our height, it was like that was the top mm. of like my YouTube career. Yeah, Mate, Queen and the Double was is I'd still consider it now like a, you know, one of those videos that if you think of YouTube back in like 2017, 16, yeah. that is one of those videos. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Yeah, like it, it was almost like everything we did touched to gold, turned to gold. Yeah, 
It was like, it all just worked. It was just in all aspects, we bounced off each mm. other, whether it was video ideas, just even like motivating each other, mm. shit like that. And just like, even in our general life, just keeping each other, yeah. So then it did him. all go wrong, obviously. Should we talk about the night at the night? The night. Yeah, so, I mean, from your case, okay, so from your point of view, like what, what was that night? So I was just going out with loads of my mates and uh, my friend... Ellis, I think Ellis and Izzy both contacted Cameo, basically trying to get like some table because there was multiple of us. Yeah. I think Ellis might have even paid for the tables, I'm not sure. But basically they caught on to the fact that we were going mm. and then decided to post a picture of me from when I'd been in Cameo before, which made it then look like it was like my night and <laughs> yeah, I like, yeah. organised something. But it was just literally us going there. Um, and yeah, no, it was just that. A group of there was loads of us actually. Like Paris was there, you know, FIFA monster, FIFA, FIFA monster. Yeah, was that cameo? FIFA monster yeah, yeah, yeah. was that cameo. The what night the it happened, fuck and is you know, Coombs, yeah, yeah. Coombs, Coombs rapper. Yeah, he was there. Uh, Messiah. Yeah. And obviously, like from my point of view, so obviously I was seeing like, okay, I need to sort of like focus on my boxing, but I kind of got the idea that Elliot was sort of getting carried away with like you know the fame and all that, and then I see the. A club night. Oh, Elliot Crawford, special guest. And I'm like, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck your mum, right? We're going to see who's boss around being <laughs> son. Fuck me. So obviously I then turn up, me and Lawrence, and it's just like, fuck this. What? I'm going to go and assert my alpha male dominance. Don't. That's rubbish. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, did... What was so I you thinking? admit, you admit you looking back that that was a bit of a yeah that was a move. bad move. That was pointless. Like okay, I, I'm focusing on my boxing eye, and then I'm, I've got time to do that. Like do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? think that was one of the things that uh, like annoyed me as well because I was obviously didn't understand yeah. your mindset at all because yeah. we hadn't like really spoken. Yeah, about yeah. It. Again, communication. Yeah, is you didn't you didn't disclose anything. No, about no, it. no. And you was, sort of just like ghosted yeah, 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 it effectively. It was, just, it was just sort of ghost. And, and obviously, my first thing when you when you two came into the club was oh sick come join our table yeah and i remember i was ushering and you i was over. just thinking fuck off mate you just didn't look at me but then lawrence was like do you, do you know why i just did that then because that's a great little clip at the beginning you know what i mean <laughs> that's a great clip at the yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's the only reason why i did that then right go on but yeah then uh obviously then lawrence like kind of shooed me away so i was just like yeah you do you you have your night half my night mm. whatever and I remember there was a point, obviously, like it's further on in the night, I'm smashed. Lawrence is like talking to someone at like our table, and he's like about to go in, and I went in front of him and was like, "You're like, you're not coming in, mate, because like this is our table, and I've already invited you in." Yeah, and he was like rude, and, yeah, 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 just shooed me away. He then squared up to me, and obviously, like I'm there and like not squared up to him too, but obviously, like. We're both there, like... And like, when you're drunk And when you're well, drunk, like, it's always yeah. heightened. Yeah, yeah of course. The bouncers pulled us away. Oh, no. And then that was that. And I was, I was really annoyed. I was like, oh, don't worry about it, whatever. And I remember we went outside of the club. And then you were doing laps of the club in your car. But like, I think... Laps? Did I not just go down what? What, went around multiple times? You went around twice. That's a bit... <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit weird. But it would have been, don't forget, this is after our, like, um, my little tussle with Lawrence. So yeah. I'd imagine it was also with some guidance from him because, again, you were just, like, looking forwards okay. rather than, like... So, because uh, yeah. I was going to say, I've, uh, like, I've heard this story and this is... And that's like, obviously when I text then at 4 a.m. on Yeah, because... Like, so, well, wait, so how... So, did, were you still in the club when you text JJ? I think I was out the club ready to go. Wait, you we walked JJ sorry. on the night. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. 4 a.m. It was at four a.m. Do you oh, not remember shit. the video? So talk about that. what, like, do you remember what you said to him? Obviously, we can pull it up on screen uh, if you don't. I just hope you drop Joe, bro. Yeah. All right. So what, like, were you when you sent that? Were you actively thinking, like, oh my god, I don't think I was actively thinking. I, yeah, think, I think you were very much, from what I'm getting the impression, you were pissed off in the moment. Everyone was drunk. There was a miscommunication. But I'm trying to put myself there, and I'm thinking that's that's probably something I would do. Like, like because the whole thing that has stemmed from this is like, oh, you snaked your mate, etc. But essentially, at the time, you weren't mates, and all you were saying, like, you didn't, you weren't like. What do you mean, not mates? No, well, like, no, no. you'd fall, you two. Okay, so we'd fall it out. Yeah, but, but people would argue. Also, okay, not, if, not I'm not, I'm not saying it's the right thing oh. to do at all. But I'm saying like it's it's almost understandable like why that happened. You were like angry, drunk, and it wasn't like you weren't like slagging Joe off. Oh, if you know what I mean. Well, you get it's it's, it's with, with those impulse reactions and stuff. You're obviously like 
you get affected more and like emotionally hurt more by people who are closer to you. Yeah, yeah. So you don't necessarily react in the yeah. right way because it's like coming from a place of like because you're like hurt, you're not thinking about things straight. You're just like it's impulsive, right? And it was one of the things at the time as well. I don't think I fully, fully understood how deep that fight was because it was like only like a month or two before we were on holiday with JJ in MAGA that he paid, paid for. for. So this <laughs> awful. So, wait, so this this cameo sorry, thing was JJ. this was this before? No, this must have been before upload event. Yeah, no, no it was after, after, upload, upload, after upload. After upload. Yeah, because yeah, you were on the Ellie stage. Was there. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. trying to get the timeline straight. Yeah, because obviously the first the first thing I see is that obviously um, the video the KSI made a whole video of like how wait because you went on the phone to him. Yeah, Did so he this is call the day you? After. That's the day after. Because I, because he posted the screenshots, so I tried to phone him. Oh, it okay. didn't go through. Yeah, he phoned me back. So this was both this of was, your reactions are, uh, are like needed from this. Like when you saw the video and when you saw the video. But first of all, when you woke up after a day and you saw those texts, I assume you were drunk, hungover. Did you feel regret? Did you think, oh shit, what have I done? Anything like what was your oh, what my, was your feelings in that morning afterwards? I remember I was in my friend's car, literally like hand in my head, like having a panic attack. Like I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I had no idea how to handle the situation whatsoever. Were you were you getting hate instantly? Oh yeah. So yeah, JJ yeah, posted yeah. The, the screenshots went up straight away. Screenshots, screenshots went up the day after what, on like Twitter or something. Yeah. Twitter. Yeah. And then so you tried to call him about the screenshots. What to say like dead it. Oh yeah, what's the, why have you done that? Like kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit deep, isn't it? Like because th his beef was with you, not with you. As in Elliot, it wasn't with Elliot. It was with Joe for the list. Yes, yeah. yeah I, th I guess like, but it also makes sense as a move from him. Yeah, yeah. from from sense. his point of view, yeah, it, it makes make complete sense. sense why he would then go he, right. Great yeah, opportunity. Obviously. I've been absolutely dominated by Weller on every other <laughs> level. He's humiliated <laughs> me on stage. I'm on the ropes. What can I do? One way key, key this moment. Now he thinks he's got his lucky ticket. I, I you know, record that, this phone call, this, that, and the other. What me and Elliot should have done, right? From there is go like, sort it out like fucking men, like meet up and whatever. If we've fallen out, at least fucking have it out there and talk. And then just turn around to JJ and be like, Way we fucking got you, can yeah, yeah, and just say it was a, it was an inside <laughs> job. We fucking planned it all. Do you know what I mean? And human, that's what we're, that's what. But yeah, yeah, again, like we're just far more developed beings now. Oh, God, and yeah. I think at the time as well, probably both your egos were hurt as well. Well, yeah, it's just like I was, you know, with the boxing thing. I was like, I, that was all new to me. I was getting beat up every day. I didn't know what I was. You know, I was fucking in a in a weird stage, in a weird weird, weird mentality. And um, to have that come up, all I could really do, and all my like trainers were saying, is just like focus on what, what like the boxing. You can't, don't have any time for for these outside distractions. So I just didn't address anything, which obviously, you know, then it, it just goes on and on and on, and obviously, um, yeah. But when when that video did come out, or the and the pictures, like, what was your initial reaction? I know you can say, oh, I just put them aside, and but you must have felt something. Yeah. So like, I mean, I just thought. I mean, I just thought at f first, like, fucking hell, JJ, like, fair play. Like, I just thought he, he's seen opportunity, he's taking it, fair enough. Um, so then I'm just thinking, right, um, okay, uh, this situation, I, di I, didn't, I don't know how to deal with. It's almost like JJ's dealt with it, and now I uh, just, uh, boxing. Like, listen, that, that was literally yeah. my thought pattern. It was almost like I couldn't really work out what to do. JJ's done his thing. I'm not, I almost didn't want to give it any more attention and do like a reaction video or anything like that because I didn't, one, I didn't want this to be like a public thing. Think, I didn't make a single video never talking about the Elliot situation no, for ages. Yeah. So I was like, I don't want, this ain't a public thing. I, like me and you, JJ, are, and this is, you know, we're doing what we're doing, but I'm not going to give that any any time because that's what also what JJ would have wanted too. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Like, that's that, that was my point. The, the, whole, the, the whole concept of him making that video and tweeting the pictures didn't really go after you. Like no. that that main that has mainly affected you, oh, Elliot, yeah, more yeah, than yeah. anyone in this. So that's why I'm just thinking, like, do you reckon it affected your performance in any way, shape, or form? Like, did you see those and were you like, oh, this has actually got to me that that JJ seen this and done this? Or was it just like th that doesn't actually mean anything to me? So up until 
stepping in that ring, I was like, this does not affect me at all. I'm focused. I know what I'm doing. It's only after that I now realise I would have been better off with no boxing trainers. Well, to an extent. <laughs> to an extent. Because, like, they did, they, you know, they taught me a lot. I can't lie. But as in, in terms of mentality-wise, Elliot would have been the guy that would actually have got me. Like, if he was in a dressing room and the way we bounce off each other, yeah. that would have had me feeling like a million bucks, as in, like, I could, I could do anything. You could argue that we're soulmates. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's well, what you're all say, thinking. I always say to you that I wish I was there. Because well, yeah, because that would have been a difference. Because I was sitting there, like, listening to, like, uh, you know the music that you listen to when you get in Static a... Static noise, uh, mate. You listen no, to... No, no, no. <laughs> no, that was running. Oh, but, like, gosh. listen. Uh, before, in the change room, it was... You know, spa music when you're uh, oh, meditating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Meditate. I was there listening to meditating music, just sort of like it was a really calm. Mm. What we should have been time. listening to was fucking Skepta, mate. <laughs> fucking getting. Do you know what I mean? Just like mate, ready to have like, it. Sounds like you legit went into that fight a broken man. Oh, mate, I did. I did 100%, bro. I was broken. Well, it doesn't Before look like I even he's got in the ring. I could have. Yeah, look at, look at my face. I'm he's literally not, not there, there bro. Not Absent. I could have. I would have been against you in the ring and lost. That's saying something. Now, that, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it's, in, it's that yeah, yeah, sort no, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's what I realised. Like, how JJ really like got something out of that video is that it was like that. Rather than it being dealt with privately, because if there wasn't this big public uproar from that video, I mean, it it would would have been probably more likely that things would have got sorted out sorted out yeah, a lot sooner. Sure. It would have main, maintained just like a private issue. But JJ doing that, that's how it worked for him. In the long run, because I didn't have like the there, there's someone, I, yeah, there's yeah. someone I bounce off of that, like, yeah, it's like my best mate essentially. Yeah, because yeah. there was in that period, obviously, where you became friends with Elliot. Obviously, a big thing was you're like your right hand man was Theo, so everyone like we we as a friendship group saw a lot more of you prior to uh, you and Elliot becoming friends. So obviously, but real quick, also, I also went off to uni. Remember? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but there was I left. then. So, like, we didn't see you for ages. So there was also that it wasn't just that you had lost Elliot. And I'm not saying you had lost us. We all came to your fight. But we never saw you. We rarely spoke to you. Well, when and I was friends with Elliot. Yeah. But that and is that because that's this, right? So everyone, and this is what I got from so many people, like, oh, Elliot's changed you. Like, the girlfriend I was going out with at the time, um, when me and Elliot were mates, like, said that Elliot was the reason why we, we didn't work out. Everyone just thinks I'm we're gay, mate. No, no, no. Wait, no, but no, no, no. no one said you were gay, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, basically, it was a case of just like where we are. Uh, what do you actually think about this concept, right? Of having friend, like, I know I said it earlier, but like, no, it sounds really gay. I can't You're say that. Say soulmates yeah, together, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because basically, the understanding in terms of like, I would go to my girlfriend like, oh, mate, like, I'm not fear, mate. No. <laughs> that's what you're right, right, right. <laughs> no, no, I'm, 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 Yeah, no, I'd just be like, oh, yeah, bro. I'd rather go and like make a video with Elliot or go and do something productive like that because our creative minds like that. That actually gave me more than just the relationship. Yeah, because no, yeah, 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 I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm all about being productive, like doing stuff like and fulfilling my purpose on this earth, which is to <laughs> create. Procreate, <laughs> like right now, <laughs> and um, <laughs> yeah. Really and like. wait, what am I saying? This somebody about. Oh wait, we're I'm talking. About, we're talking about your essentially your lack of friends. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Lack the of fight. friends. What waffling about? Um, lack of friends that we're soulmates. Oh yeah, and then, oh yeah. Talking about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> basically, the reason that obviously you guys as well were saying, oh yeah, you've ditched us for Elliot. Oh, you just Elliot's just bumming you, just bum licks you. Yeah. Like that's what they all say, isn't it? Oh god, I'm not doing myself any favors here. I'm not bumming you. I'm not doing <laughs> No one said that, mate. No, no, no. But you hear me? So everyone had this perception that he'd just like stolen me from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> just like stolen me away. <laughs> and that I'd changed. When in reality, but, bruv, think, when I was first starting doing a YouTube as well, I would not come on the nights out. I would not do any of that stuff because I'd be wanting to make videos. I want to be, be want to be productive and all of that. That being said, that, that isn't just something that we maybe picked up on because your viewers did also. Because when you mentioned on the podcast that you were meeting up with Elliot again, we, like, we got a lot of comments saying, like, please don't ditch the boys. Yeah. 
because they so, they somehow got in the head, like a lot of the waffling mafia that I was going to ditch you boys for Elliot. Now, when me and Elliot started like linked up again, which I think we should talk about in, in a bit more detail, but I'll fast forward to this bit. When we started linking up and hanging out, was just in the sort of time that us lot fell out. Yeah. So it was easy to join the dots, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it was easy when really they had nothing to do with each other. Unrelated. Like literally like completely unrelated. Yeah. Yeah. And um, obviously everyone came to this, well, a lot of people came to a, the conclusion that Elliot must have stolen me away again. It was very unfortunate <laughs> Night timing. in shining <laughs> armor. I was getting so it many like, messages like, love. you've ruined waffling, hope you're happy oh, now. Blah, 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 Wait, blah, blah, you know blah. what, let's, let's touch on that then. Yeah, what, the hate. The excessive yeah, yeah, hate. The so hate. Oh my lord. We've heard Joe's reaction from it. JJ puts the video live. You jump on a phone call. Do you know he's recording? Uh, not at first. Not, what are the laws on this? Like, is that video even when it, comes, when, when it comes to YouTube, there are no laws. <laughs> Games are game. Games are game. Yeah. End of the day. <laughs> not at first. And it's like one of them, like, everyone had stayed at Ellis's house after the night. So I'm there with, like, FIFA Monster and that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, FIFA monster. I don't know, I don't know. know. But anyways, yeah. So we're all just there, and I get, I get the phone call, and then they're like, somebody says, "Wait, remember, he might be recording. He might be recording." Well, like halfway through. So at that point, I'm like, Nah, he won't be recording. No, 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 at that point, like I'm like, yeah, he's definitely recording. (laughs) Because like, especially as it went on, like the way he was then like talking and like composing his questions, I'm like. Almost a bit too formal for like a phone call. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a video. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, uh, I was. Uh, that's the thing. I was, ca- I was trying to be careful what to say anyway. But like to the point where he ended up having to write fake captions anyway. Like yeah, he did like piss taking ones to try and make it. Uh, blah, make blah, blah, more blah, blah. Oh, the, yeah, the, yeah, the damage was done though, wasn't it? The yeah, damage yeah, was done. Yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. You got to remember at this point. So like where, like us boys, even you to some extent, have been eased into YouTube. Like when I started, it took me. Time to build up and you, like, whatever. Elliot was thrown straight in at the deep end. Like, number one, both me and him at the same time, like, when we were doing our thing, we're like, banging. Popping, yeah. Top, top on (laughs) YouTube. Everyone copying. So he's just literally dropped into this. Like, the average person doesn't phone someone when trying to sort out an issue and think, oh, they're going to be recording this to make a video out uh, out of it to put all over the the internet. That's just not a normal thing. Where some people would be like, why didn't you think, (laughs) obviously KSI is going to film it. But it's just like, that's, you know, when, that's, that's not normal. Do you know what I mean? It's not so, like, likewise with the, the, that whole situation. The, nor- the average normal human being wouldn't have to deal no, with yeah. with that. So Jada's vid comes out. Uh, how's that? Surely it's like, oh fuck. Yeah, like this. Surely that would just send you like over the edge. Surely oh, it's like sh- fuck all this. Just didn't know what to do. Your head's like an absolute like whirlwind. Like you don't you're just trying to work out any way of like reacting or whether you do react or how you react but like mostly it's just your head just spinning because every because think about it at first you're used to like obviously you get hate like all the time whatever but then suddenly like regardless of any nice things you're getting like there's so much hate that we had everything and then you have nothing over 24 hours like that it was just yeah it's like relentless you'd see it would just be snake 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 and snake. even to this day like you're still getting even up to up till this podcast. Yeah, yeah, like right like, now. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. If I looked at my Instagram now and scrolled through, like at least like one out of the last three comments will be the, like the thing a is, snake emoji. In there it's not something. only like at the time is it like pretty fucking sad to like go and comment hate anyway. The fact that it's been what four years and people are still oh, yeah. commenting like snake emojis. And anything think... that would happen, like say like uh, I'd get mentioned in a video or I'd get mentioned in a podcast or I'd get mentioned in something, it would just like cause little boosts of it and you can't yeah, like, you can't actually like block the snake emoji <laughs> on instagram like it doesn't work Fuck. and how like realistically like how did that make you feel overall because it's like three years of that like obviously like we're back we're on things now like we've got we're doing what we're doing but what, surely you were like this is just bleak this is what it's going to be for the rest of my life and that is just it now. oh yeah no there was so many times so many points where it was like well, I, I'd like shake it off up to a point and I'd think, I, I'd think it was all right. And then like there'd be times where it would just like switch and I'd just like break down. Like, I remember there was a time um, like you just ignore, 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 oh, whatever, they just whatever, try and get in a good mindset. And I remember it was when I was like um, first starting to do DJing and stuff and I was learning, I did like a little live stream and it yeah. was just relentless hate. 
I just remember I turned it off and just like burst into tears to my parents, just like just yeah. doesn't stop. And that's like that yeah, at this fun. point, that's like two years after it's happened still. I don't really know what to say to that. Like, like I feel terrible for you because mm. it's just like the thing is, and this is the problem with online because realistically, how many times have you had someone come up to you in the street and been like, "You're a prick." Like most people probably pop up to you and like ask for a picture I've or something. I've had that as well. Still, I mean that that doesn't surprise it, me, but I mean like comparable to what you get online. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The amount of people who probably have commented snake emojis and have come up to me. And yeah, this is probably mad. Yeah, it's hard because obviously what went wrong, what happened was wrong, and obviously you probably regret it, but no one deserves to go through that. Mate, at the end of the no day, one. You, you didn't fucking, you didn't kill anyone. Like, mate, no, what you said it, was like, who you dropped the, Joe, bro. The, like, the worst thing about it is that it's just. The simple of it is that two mates fell out and it just happened yeah, like to this be on happens, YouTube. This happens every day, every fucking minute. Anyone watching People, this has fallen out with Yeah, like, like falling out on <coughs> for, for much worse of the reasons than saying, oh, I hope you punch my mate. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, as in, like, even when we fell out, but when it's public, it's fucking, oh, my yeah. God, what the fuck? Your favourite YouTuber's parents, whatever, fucking, you know, I don't know. What? Hey, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> so talking about parents, and I was like, ooh, no. Uh, oh yeah, those like everyone you know probably has fallen out. Bear worse than that, even yourself. But why? Why do you boys think that they were so relentless on Elliot? I think it was because they saw you two as not like, the perfect. Couple. Couple. Yes, 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 point, yes couple. Yes, to a point, yes. And yes. from one perspective, they've just seen Elliot Snake Joe, he is the evil is one. It, is it because and they literally just see, they see what he gets out of the relationship? No, 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 no. But don't see what I do? No, they. I think they saw it as, they built this such a good relationship, they're such a good couple... Why has he done this? I think also, genuinely, they don't, I think people would look at him and be like, like, they would only see... From this relationship, they'd be like, look at what Joe has done for Elliot. And then, like, Elliot's just done that to him. Like, And genuinely, I think that's how people are seeing it. So then they're just thinking, like, oh, you got what you wanted. And then you've just fucked Joe off. So, like, to them, they're going to instantly back Joe and just go after you. But, yeah, th like, as you say, all it is is two mates that have fallen out. Mm -hmm. That is unfortunately publicised. That's what I find mad. I think people are so invested in it because of how public it, it, it was. But mm -hmm. also... Because the lack of information from both of our sides. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. It wasn't addressed or or anything, and that's where, yeah, like if it was all just dealt with basically there and then, like a lot of this could have could have been solved. But then again, at the same time, and we we talk about this, it's like how that those three years apart, oh, vital, are like doing like going through what we've gone through, Not through life is like actually been so vital to where we are now and what we're now going to be doing because like i i literally tried everything to try and make videos to try and figure out what my creative spark was <laughs> oh, going to yeah, be we know. Do you know what i mean i dragged you <laughs> boys into it like i was like, i literally tried everything and i was because i was thinking you know i got myself where i am on youtube i can fucking do it again um but at the same time like yeah, and I think it was pride in that sense. I was like, almost like I was too too pride, proud at this point to reach out and be like, "Oh, mate, do you want to just do you want to just chat?" Probably because, like, partly, I, you know, from hearing everyone else, you're like, "Oh, yeah, maybe maybe he was just using me. Oh, maybe he just was like this, that, and the other." But it was obviously when we did. I did the yeah. Jackmate podcast. I did the Jackmate podcast, and obviously spoke about. Um, the Elliot situation, that Elliot texts me, be like, do you want to grab a coffee? And I was just like, finally, the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, bring it into actually something that's happened recently. You see this whole David Dobrik stuff coming out, and he made that one apology video. It didn't go down very, very well yeah. at all. Obviously, when you get all this hate, you're obviously not thinking your head's not in the right space. You uploaded that video of your mum. I don't think that went down very well. Yeah, I thought that was the worst thing you could have done. Because what it looked like was, I don't know how to fight this battle, so I'm going to get my mum to do it for me. <laughs> no, mate, that's no, literally what did, I thought. I was, really, like, I was like, no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, but no. that's borderline what it was, mate. I was a mess. So I yeah. didn't know what to do. And I bought, I had, like, a limited time to, like... Yeah, to address it. To address it. And it was literally a case of... I, yeah, pure didn't know what to do. 
You just need to L- live your mum. L- yeah. Looking back, you know, mom. Yeah, obviously you didn't you didn't say anything. Mm. Do you feel any sort of responsibility for the amount of hate that Elliot's got over the past four years? Because honestly, we've had more than enough conversations about Elliot, but prior to you being friends again. And you never actually said a bad word about him. Well, well no. Like, never I don't been... remember you ever being like, nah, he's a fucking prick. Like, no, you yeah. never said that. Well, that's the thing. All of it, all of it. And that's but you where... never stuck up for him online. To Because he was getting all this hate, did you, did you ever think, maybe I should say something because he's not actually a bad guy? And I'm not saying you should have, but do you ever feel like maybe you could have? Or, on the other side, did at one point, when this all happened, did he think he deserves this? Yeah. There was, pro- there was probably a, a, a mixture of all of it. There's probably a point of like, first, so I used to think, yeah, because at first, because I, I used to always think, right, as well, that like, oh, Elliot's never had any like hardships in life. Obviously, I had no idea. But I was almost like, finally, he's going to like feel something that's going to actually, like he needs this. I was almost like he needs some pain. I don't know why. That's a bit sick and twisted, isn't it? No, but isn't it? Because well, I yes. think, I think, to me, I would not be... The fucking incredible cute now, Jake. No, I, I wouldn't be like where I am if I hadn't experienced like the downs as much as the ups. Because you'd just be a well basic like two D human. You wouldn't have any depth or complexity or like Life's whatever. A to me. Yeah, do you know? Do you know what I mean? And that's that's what really helped me. And I think that maybe that was something I noticed a little bit. I was like, okay, I don't know. We're going off a t- on a tangent, but it's in like when I used to think. That like, oh, the, all the fame's get into like Elliot's head, you know, he's um, like get like the chain and get all this, that and the other. I just instantly would put that down as like, oh, he's just all, it's all getting to his head and, and that's it. When in reality, like everyone's got different personal fucking things that they want to do with their life. Yeah, but. And I think I judged that. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, I, like I definitely did. I I didn't meet you until was it like this year yeah, or like end well, of last year or something yeah, yeah, yeah. and like i had like completely that perception based on purely what i'd seen online which obviously i think we know now being 25 like is so wrong so do you think it went to your head i to say it didn't go to my head whatsoever but it was like it was one of those things that i felt was always like focused on and pointed out so much it was like this one thing that people latched on to borderline because it was like the only bit of like information they could like latch onto, but it was like, oh, he wears chains. He's like, I think even Jack mate said something about like, oh, he he met me in his chains and his Mercedes BMW. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, but it, it was like one of those things. Also, yeah, it was like this thing that people like picked up on. But these people also never said anything to me or never acted a different way to me. And some of these people that like commented on things that I like commented on the situation and passed like like made comments on it yeah literally um were some people who I was like good friends with and they know what I'm actually like and they'd like just start going oh yeah he wore chains he's a dickhead blah 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 blah. that's classic YouTube no one's really your mate I mean just look how I got dropped look at the end of the fight how all those other fucking YouTube mugs jump in the rim celebrate kept with KSI Toby Jizzle the only one that comes up to me I don't forget that shit bruv I don't forget any of that. That's the thing. Think about how many Fuck mutual them. friends we have in YouTube as well. Not a single person tried to reach out to us or help us. And that's us what it is. Like everyone's yeah. using it. Un- un- t- unless you're giving them something in return, they ain't, they ain't giving you the time of day. I.e., I, I just think there's a lot of fakeness out there. I just oh, yeah, definitely 100%. do on this platform, 100%. I just do. And I like, because, yeah, like, everyone, everyone's your mate when, when you've got something to give them. Anyways, I'm repeating myself. Go I ahead. see it as very similar to when a player turns pro in football or when, <laughs> when it is, when an NFL player goes from college straight into the NFL, they've gone from literal college, nothing, to earning millions of pounds a month, a week. You literally got thrown in like that. There's no, it's no surprise that that can change you or affect you or like it will go to your head because you've gone from nothing Yeah, but Elliot was saying that he didn't think it did. Because Lula, like, no, so you, no, no, you like, you like the... I, I, I don't think it did to the extent that people say it did. But, yeah. okay, so this, so how, so That's what, what, I mean. what it is, it almost, didn't. almost being aware of how to, how you will be received by a mass of people is something that you develop as you're 
audience grows. Whereas when you're dropped into it, he's not buying a chain thinking, oh, if I wear this, X, Y, Z bloke is going to have this opinion on it. If he's only, if he's just seeing me wearing the chain, he's going to cast an opinion. If he hears me talk whilst wearing, you know what I mean? Like, you're probably not thinking, because you shouldn't fucking give a fuck how, how, if you want to wear or do something, shouldn't worry about how it's going to come across. However, it just so happens that those things will naturally come across like, yeah, yeah, of oh, he's getting carried away. Oh, he's and thinking al- this, that, and the other. Cool. And also, I'm assuming that this was the first time you got serious cash. Well, so you, just, the, you want to spend it. The, well, that's the thing. <laughs> the, 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 that's why the chain thing's so funny as well. It's because, like, we were in Los Angeles for like the second time. We'd gone for three weeks, film queen and double. We went for another three weeks with all the other YouTubers as well. Yeah. We go to Rodeo Drive. Everyone there's buying stuff. Like oh, I yeah, bought yeah. like so much stuff, multiple yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. I, I buy about, one I've thing because <laughs> I'm in I'm in Los Angeles. I'm in Rodeo Drive. I buy a Versace j- chain, and that's it. I think. Didn't you buy a Versace chain? I know I bought the cups. What? Oh, the, the cups. cups. The cups. No, no, I, chip, I, would, chip, I wouldn't wear chains. Chip brought a Versace no, chain. Burn chip. Yeah, no, I remember. No, he bought the ring. Yeah, and he got a ring. It didn't fit him. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you bought those Versace cups. And you Wait, got we still like, use them. Why did I buy these? You no, bought mate, some we, new ones. Yeah, well, I got new ones for my birthday though. I bought myself. <laughs> <laughs> mate, it's just a tradition. They are quality. They're quality. They're good. No, but, they are good. Like you say, if you have money. Like everyone wants to spend their money in their own individual ways. You got money, you wanted to buy a chain. Like that, like that's fair enough. But yeah, it's people like seeing those things. Oh, look, he's bought a BMW. Oh my God, he must think he's so rich now. Or, or is he just spending his money? I'm, like what Like what else are you meant to well, do with that money? It's one of those money? things as well. Like living where we live, I was still living with my parents. Like I, I wanted to buy a car like because I was traveling so much as well. Yeah, yeah. So it would be like, I wanted to buy a nice car because I'm constantly driving backwards and forwards from London. So it's like that was like one of the things on like my list. Get rid of my Peugeot 107. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's I, quite I an upgrade, didn't it? I think it was yeah, like at that decent. age, you don't really when you're at that age living in pension, you don't really have responsibilities. Yeah, yeah how so old were you when all this happened? First video would have been like 18, 19. Um Yeah, so yeah. young. And then fast forward, I guess we is there anything else on the previous because I was just gonna say fast forward to when we met up obviously last year. Last yeah. summer, wasn't it? Last, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like August, no, nah, July, June, and basically it was after the yeah after the Jake Jack Mate podcast where I mentioned him. He slid in my DMs, hello, sexy. Now just like, do you want to go for a coffee? And I was just like, you know what? Just like, all right, let's see what happens. And it's so funny because obviously like pulled up there, probably both of both of us thinking, oh, what's going to happen? Probably, she's, mate, she's like, go out of the car, she's like, start pissing ourselves laughing. She's like, what was that about? What was that about? You're both sitting in your cars beforehand, you're just absolutely shitting yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bubble bursts. Yeah, it was just instantly like, oh, fuck, instantly like back to normal sort of thing. So like talking about everything. Um, and it was just, yeah, just that overall thing of like, mate, what the fuck have we been doing the past yeah, three yeah. years? But like I say, that, that that three years was so useful because obviously I'm sure for you, you learned a lot in that time. Oh, mate. Well, I obviously went through all of that shit, learned how to DJ. Yeah. Had a girlfriend. Yeah. Which you'd I never, haven't, I'd never had, had a girlfriend, girlfriend before. Um, yeah, so. Who's, she still got the chain. No. No. What? She had to give it back. I thought she had the chain. What does that mean? No, your your chain. Chain. Oh, yeah, she does still have my chain. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want it back. And my Xbox. <laughs> and your Xbox. Yeah. No, no, you got to get the Xbox. Get her Xbox. online now. <laughs> um, but yeah, and obviously when we started chatting, it was like, wow, what the fuck? And then the, the over overwhelming thing was when he was like, yeah, I've been DJing. And I was like, oh, fucking hell, you. <laughs> Because I've always wanted to be a DJ. I've also yeah. been DJ. I was, no, no, no. I was like, I bought the decks and I wanted to learn. And I was just like, wow, that's so cool. I used to do that annoying thing in the car. Instead of just turning the volume up in the car, you'd be like, pew. You know what well, I'm like, saying? Like, like, you would so, do that. So yeah. it. <laughs> it's it's weird, off. though. You talk about you two getting back together and it just being like normal. Like, isn't that just because, like, technically you never actually fell out? Well, yeah, that's the we thing. Just we just didn't well, speak well, to yeah. each other for three and a half years. Still three years out. of dead air. So obviously we know what you did in those three years. Yeah. What the fuck did you do for three years? Yeah. We saw it. Well, we saw a couple of videos, a couple of brand yeah. deals. Yeah, just literally while well, I tried to keep making videos, but it's like one of those things, like, when it doesn't work, anything you put out gets shot down. It's then really hard to even like come yeah. up with good creative ideas because yeah. you're like, what's the point? It's gonna get shot down. Yeah. Yeah. And it just kept going. And then it was like one of those things I was I was trying to like explore different avenues. Like I was still like trying to work on music, but I was still trying to find my sound and working with too many people. 
Um, and then I started doing DJing. Um, learned through a few of my friends who were already DJs. Yeah. Practiced that. Did a couple of gigs. Did a gig at Embassy. Embassy? Set. Well, like one set, like half an Isn't hour. Isn't that strip set. club now? What? Is it? No. No, I swear it is. Is it? No, it's <laughs> no, I do. How do you know, Luke? No, no, it's not. That no, mate told me. So we we get a gig at Embassy. Yeah, <laughs> that's straight in. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like I said, had a girlfriend that takes up most of your time. Yeah, um, yeah. So you, like, at no point have you had to get a job? I know uh, that's quite no, a no, question. no. I, I haven't had to get a job, but luckily I've been doing like lots of like <laughs> brand deals and. Not me, they they must be a godsend. Well, yeah, well, that's well, why I did because I went, I went fully broke. Yeah. I, was, yeah, no, I got, luckily got that thing with JBL as well, which is like a yearly thing. I'm a JBL ambassador. Make sure you buy JBL products. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, Commission. they got to send me like to all these different festivals and stuff around the world as well. So oh, that's yeah, that's sick. Yeah. <laughs> that and then on the back of that, I got some Toyota things. So like work work wise, deals. it's not actually been that bad. For you. Probably not as good as obviously when you're at your, your peak. Yeah. But like, if that got taken away from you as well, oh, that would have been hell. Like, oh, yeah, as in, yeah. say, like, no brand would work with you because of this, all this shit that yeah, went on. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, no, I would have had to get some form of job, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, because I, I even obviously like had that conversation when I was like, right, I'm done with YouTube in terms of like, I don't want to do it. Um, my obviously, I'm getting a tax bills coming in like left, right, and centre. I've got zero pound yeah. fifty. Like literally, do you remember fucking Norway? Yeah, yeah. I re oh, I remember Norway, boys. And then all those trip. brand deals, rich. right? When you're like, well as a sellout, well as a wanger. Fucking sorted me out, though. Well as got a you know what I mean? No, but, no, but actually, like, and that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, people, obviously, naturally, it's like, oh, this person's just, like, doing brand deals. But you got to do what you got to do. Well, sometimes. it's their job. That's like, what I don't do. understand. It's like people say, oh, you're it's a, a sellout. But like it's it's it, your job. What do they expect? No, exactly. yeah, 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 the yeah, no, where like say for example, I used to just make funny videos and that was it. And then there was a period where it was like only branded stuff <laughs> because was, I don't actually yeah. want to make these videos. I'm literally just doing it for like to fucking stay afloat, mate. Yeah, and also there is a line with um, you can be considered. It's all about who the brand is as well. Who the brand is as well. Yeah, if yeah, you're working yeah. with someone that you. It's so obvious that it's a brand new and you don't give a fuck about that company. Mm, yeah. That's when people get. What that is that? What all my brands were like, buddy? Only a couple of them, mate. Yeah, some of them. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like, name for names. <laughs> nah, but hold up. That Braun brand deal, is it not paid off? No one mentioned Braun, mate. No, because, like, look. <laughs> no. I actually thought it was quite good, but. No, it. I'm saying it's quality as well because, look, it's paid off as fuck. I like you. I like mate, your... they keep extending it, bruv. Like, as in, they keep using. the racing line, mate. Yes, yes. They keep. <laughs> Using my video and re-promoting it because it's working. It's like one point one mil views. I saw. No, 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 on Instagram. On Instagram, they keep plugging, like, like sponsoring it, as in paying for it to be uplifted because apparently it's selling loads Mate, of shavers. You are one of them, like you know, like how to cut hair. Yes, <laughs> fucking this. It's fucking me, up. and I cut my own hair. To this, look, what do you actually think? I fucked the tram the, line. The tram right? line is shit. Yes, I fucked it. But, but still, you, you're not quite Jeremy Lynch level, but you're getting there. Jeremy Lynch cuts his own hair. Yeah. Mate, fuck how you, off. Wait, how do you not know this? He's, he's literally elite of cutting hair. Oh, I thought I was the only one. Anyways, it's irrelevant. But, go on, were you going to say something? Well, I was going to say, because we put out on our Instagrams today, asking for like what questions people have for me and Theo to ask you boys. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, the one that I think we got most is how did you feel about Elliot? Oh, I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the that's that, the one I got most. Go it was, honest you know, honest opinion. opinion. It was how did how Look did him me in the eye. Home? Because I <laughs> I only met you a handful of times. Like I didn't actually know you that well. Like Wembley Cups. But what was your impression when you from the information you did just gather? Like a, a cocky idiot. Cocky like I didn't idiot. think you. Were, I didn't think you were a bad person. I just thought you are arguably an, a second Joe. <laughs> what? In terms of what personality. Does that make joy? In terms what, am of I a massive <laughs> cocky wanker? In terms of personality. Yeah. You can, you, can say, you can say who you hang you are who you hang around with. <laughs> you, oh, but, but I thought you were not a genuine person. Where? I thought you were putting on a persona rather than being who you actually were. And I think at the start in the first video, the English Drake football yeah. video, I thought you Fucking good video, funny video. And then I think as everything grew and grew and grew, I think it just deteriorated. I think it's one of those things is what, what me and Joe end up having and why it can seem like that as well, is like where we hang out all the time, we'll adopt 
mannerisms. Mannerisms. Yeah, but, no, but which from, I completely understand. But yeah. from each other. So there'll be things that Joe does from me and there'll be mm. things that I do from Joe. Mm. But then it's like where obviously if you see Joe more and he's like doing some of yours that you don't realise are mine, it then often comes across like we're just like, I'm just copying oh. him or we're copying each other, whereas actually... Which we we're, we're no stranger to that. Oh, Mate, no, like, I, I remember say... at college people would always be like, "Why are you speaking like Joe Weller?" And it's like, "What? Like this is how me and the no, boys have always yeah, spoken." Yeah, Janine sometimes be like, "What did you just say?" I was like, "Oh fuck, I've done it again." But like because Joe was the famous one that yeah. everyone saw. Well, it's not even that. Joe has very eccentric mannerisms. What are you Don't... talking about? <laughs> even, even think about think about like someone who we got lots of mannerisms off back in the day. Who, who if people hung around with him, would think that he's copying us. Would be like Laurie. Sorry, yeah, oh, but there was a lot of things that I used to copy off him. Yeah, exactly. Like and that, it's like, like a... Yeah. It's like, Which you do that when you are spending so much yeah, time yeah, yeah. with someone. Which is actually very useful for learning languages, obviously, hablo espanol y... Uh, blah, blah, blah. But, no, basically, because, like, you, whatever you hear, you want to, like, in, you know, do. So it's good for learning language, so you'd be good at learning languages. Because we've got very adaptive... There we go! <laughs> no, no, but it's quite interesting, isn't it? But, um, yeah... Anyways, let's move on to the fucking right now. And that's right, basically. So, see, I find out that Elliot DJs, and I'm like, apart from the facts, I need him. I also want to learn. So, we would take, like, he had the little decks, like a little controller, DDJ400, Pioneer, if you want want to have a look. Um, and he basically started, like, teaching me. And I was like, this is sick. You're really good and much better than me. I don't like that. I hate that. No, but it's, in, it's it's good, and that's a theme throughout. Like where we are, where we are, obviously like competitive, but like constructively, it like has helped both of us get better and better. And we like go on up to the cliffs and practice. Go like on what? here, going. Where's the plug, mate? You know, mate? How do you do that? You, don't, you oh, just no, need. Um, you just need. You have as long as the laptop lasts, really. Yeah. Oh. So we just, yeah. We just didn't plug. Yeah, the laptop in, obviously. Just, and just mate. Sunset vibes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a video up now, right? P roll this video, Tom. Basically, have a look. So there we are on the cliff, sitting down, which is just like dead, but like is what it is, and just learning. And obviously, throughout lockdown, I'd say that's been the sickest thing. Like we've had time to just like completely learn this new skill and like passion because like it goes hand in hand with you know just sort of like other activities, other activities because. With my support bubble. <laughs> within the bubble, within the bubble. <laughs> you know, within my bubble, I have obviously, you know, organised a couple of parties, just like a couple. Support bubble party. Yeah, when when we in... say party, we literally mean four people. Oh, no, it is actually four people. Like, yeah, yeah. So I don't want more. I don't want like, They joke in. about it, but it is literally four people, like, their the, girlfriends. Yeah, it's basically all of us here. Um, but essentially, like, we've, we've obviously been practising frequently, but to, like, a small audience, and it's been so, so good to the point at which we're like, mate, should we like? Should we actually, you know, do do a tour? It's like, should, like should, tour this is, party? Like, vibe. Is, that, is that realistic? Like, not only like, yeah, we're not like the world's greatest DJs, but like, we love it. It's fun, and like, actually putting on a party round the fucking world. Imagine like going to different cities, putting on a party, bringing the vibes. Mate, it should be the funnest, sickest thing ever. You're never gonna know if you're actually good at it until you do it. Yeah. You know? Well, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that was quite deep no, no, in no, the so, moment, you know. No, no, no. That's no. why we've chosen to, you know, practice within our support bubble. Yeah, because you have to practice. They would no, just go I'm on sorry, stage Phil, for the first mean, no, time. I didn't mean that, everyone. I am a nice man. I can see the comments. I now. am. Phil, just, Joe just bullies Phil. Yeah, no, I do a little bit. But, um, yeah, and obviously, like, how have you found it then? You know, me and you just sort of, like, falling in love again. Bonded. I need to stop saying that. I'm just not even going to make a joke. No, because it's like dead what, banter. What, men can't be... No, 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 because people are going to think it's real, bruv. I mean, you can love each other and not have it in a sexual no, way. We all love each other around this table. Oh, yeah, you say we true. don't all love each other. We actually need to promote love more. Yeah, I think you're meant to You're meant to be in love with your boys. They're your first love. They are your boys. Yeah, the boys are the boys. The boys are the boys. Yeah. <laughs> Out of which, you know, do you yam it? <laughs> <laughs> like you two boys oh, obviously sorry. have girlfriends. Yeah. Now I, I basically I know for a fact that Elliot is like very into the concept of like yam in it live. <laughs> which is just which is yeah, not necessarily live, you just, saw just like it live. live. Wow. Because I walked in on him going down on a girl and I caught eye contact with her. She looked <laughs> yeah, she looked <laughs> 
cool. Wait, is this what you were talking about? What we can't mention? I'm done. Wait, uh, wait. I'm done. No, I basically I oh. uh, I walked in and, and then what happened? No, I just sort of like started noshing one out. What? I didn't really. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I sort of like went. No, you like, you oh, you I, did. I ran you off. Won. Yeah, he ran, ran off. How do you think these stains got here, mate? <laughs> he ran, ran off. off to the waffling room. and fucking up. He ran off the banks over Elliot licking a girl out. What? I think he actually ran away going, he's yamming it live, he's, he's yamming, yamming it live. Okay, I didn't wank, yes, right? Did. No, I didn't. This well, was so it. nice, this episode. What, and then we fucked it by this. Um, no, yeah, yeah just basically. But do um, you yam it? I, 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 it. I didn't used huh? to be all that keen on it. And then Ailey was like, mate, give it, you know, just really feel it. Become I, you used the, to be like that. Uh, no, no, not her, uh, not her. Uh, I just wasn't really a, a I, I don't know, a fan. Yeah, it really did not do anything for you. I remember that. I used to think that was quite weird. weird. And now, and now, yeah, well, okay, bush, bush, bush. You know, like when you're like, am I going to be able to get a rod on tonight? I don't know. I <laughs> don't really have that. Well, right? Mate. Well, this little concept. Now, it's like, <laughs> yam it and hope for the best. I know I'm saying this in a really derogatory way, and I don't mean to, but just let me let me say what I'm trying to say. So, like, it's true, now, man. that's how that's the thing that's going to turn me on most. Because it, you you do that and hope for the best. Because sad. hope hope that that will be the thing that stimulates your rock solid erection. Because obviously, That's Joe, during sad. like some of our um, parties within, within our bubble, support, yeah. support bubble, will be like he'll like pull me to the kitchen, and be like, "Bruv, I can't I'm, do. It. I'm not feeling it," and I'll just be like, "I'm mate. not going to perform, mate. I know it. It's all capitulating. I'm I'm cracking." Mate, you're, you're actually I'll, like, I'll, I'll look him in the eyes and like go, a, "Yam it, and hope for the best." For buddy. those that are wondering what yam it is, it's a really horrible term. For what? going down on a girl, you're like a you're like a really weird WWE tag team. Is it repulsive? <laughs> is, is it, it is a little bit. Like how many times you had threesomes together? Never, never, never. never. But you what? said you looked each other in the eyes. No, <laughs> last week, brother. <laughs> no, 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 that was our other friend. No, no, no. Is he took me to the side and looked me in the eyes and said, "Yam it and hope for the best." <laughs> Off your pop. Oh yeah, he didn't yam it live no. in front of me. No, I. He's only seen me yam it live. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you've never had a threesome together? No. no. I thought you had. For I thought you had. had. No. Would it, do, do you think that you're too close? To, do you think that's a thing? We get a lot of questions about threesomes. No, we love, Free, our, we love our girlfriends. No, no, but okay, what? put this aside. I'm talking at any stage <laughs> in your life. Do you think you two are too close to have a threesome together? Like you Mate, I, could, I could have, a, apart from family members, I could have a threesome with anything. Right, well, thank God. But like, do you not think like maybe what? like during the well, threesome? Obviously not family members. Well, yeah, but if I said, oh, I'd have, I'd have a threesome with anyone, you go. <laughs> it's one of I mean, those things. It's really, it's, it's, it would have to be, it would be possible, yeah. But it, as long as one of us hasn't like fallen in love for one of them, yeah, because you can't do happen. that. Yeah, you can't do that. That does happen oh, yeah. sometimes. You'll be like, I love her. Yeah, so like our or girlfriends like, you like right now to a point where it's like yeah. I don't want to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spit our girlfriends are like our girlfriends now. Like no one's going near them, as in because that would be upsetting. But say like you know. If, it, if everyone was like playing this game, like do it or drink, and it was like, put your hand up if you're against a, a fuck off orgy, right? Uh, well, obviously, we do it. What? We all got a drink. Oh, okay, yeah, I do. Okay, I'm actually. Trying a Buxton Brewery. Look at this, you got. Got a Buxton beer. I'm actually legitimately getting smashed on Buxton. What the? <laughs> 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 Never do that again. <laughs> Never. And for that. Whip, 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 whip. Oh. Everyone's just clicked off this video. Oh, <laughs> don't do it. And for that, you now have to do this. What is it? Pretend like you are masturbating for 20 seconds or drink three times. All right. Go on. Not that hard. Buddy. I've done that at parties loads of times. Can we just do three seconds? Well, can't just look me in the eyes, boys. Yeah? Oh, uh, would that make you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Come on, Theo. <laughs> Come on, son, you Look at the mind. jaw. The jaw's gone to the side. Like. <laughs> right, have I done now? What was it? What was it? Yeah, was it no, we're have an orgasm. I am think. Oh, God, you've that's got to over. All oh, right. <laughs> right, there we go. That was vile. No, but this is what I was saying about sexual beingness. When you're comfortable in your skin, you can do anything. Do you think? You're, that you're liberated by it, bruv. Honestly, you should try it. Come to one of our parties. Yes. Got a girlfriend. Yes. No, we'll get them to bring a mate. Oh no, you've got a girlfriend. No, 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 no. You can what? practice on her. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, not practice. That, no, 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 not that anyone can be practiced on. Everyone is fucking equal. So I'm not gonna fucking Wait, say surely that. Surely we could have a party oh, with all of our girlfriends. Oh, yeah. Why don't we invite all of our girlfriends? Yes. And us. After lockdown. And then just do a fucking load of. Dee! 
after no, lockdown. No, wait, wait. After lockdown, we'll do it. Yeah, when we're in our new bubble. I really hope no one's watching this far. Yeah, well, it's 105. Hopefully you've clicked no, off. No, we're still going. We could have an eight some. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> no one said anything about eight. <laughs> so one thing I want to know is when you two, you fell out, then the fight, you did all the thing with KSI, and then the fight actually was going ahead. Who did you want to win? Did you watch the fight? I tweeted, I tweeted out Team Weller. Oh, did you? Fight day, but people yeah. would have thought I oh, was just doing that to try and get in everyone's good books. Yeah, but yeah, like, did but you I, genuinely I, I want to? I tried to message him before the fight as well, but I blocked him. Didn't go delivered. No, I blocked him. I couldn't. I had to block out all the neg- negativity, blocking out the hater. <laughs> 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 obviously, obviously, I wanted him to win. Don't never go. Like, <laughs> I always did, and it was just like one of those. Yeah, it didn't suddenly decide like, oh no, I really want JJ to win now. No, but I always wanted you to win. Yeah. Aww. 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 Did you want me to win? Got your free tickets? Yeah, yeah we got I got plastered. plastered. You're wangered. I came into that ring and I just looked ringside and I saw you, Cunts. Like, yeah, yeah. Sitting next to yeah, Max just, Branning, best oh, he was the like, yeah, annoying little twat I've ever given. <laughs> fucking Mate, imagine, imagine just coming to the boxing with your son. You're just an, a, a normal actor. I don't even fucking know his name. Yeah. And I've got this dosser sitting next to you. Max fucking Branning, Max fucking Branning. Mate, all fight. If, like, if you're watching Waffling right now and like you're thinking it's funny to be like commenting snakes or like giving hate. Like I don't think we really want those sort That's of people dead, Like get out, mate. Like yeah. you're not you're not welcome here, bro. Like to anyone, you're not, not welcome. just Elliot. Just like, like don't yeah. do it. Like spread hate. Like this whole thing here, right? Free the wide shot. Hello. Yes. Fruity dons. Very mm. fruity. Very fruity. Now what is in fruit? That's right. Pips. What are pips? Good. Now <laughs> what? You take them out. But then you also might put them up. No, I don't know what I'm going about. Basically, there's no need for hate. Like it, what, like it, happy people don't spread negativity. Do you know what I mean? It's just a pure reflection of you. So if you're willing to do that, spread the negativity. Please leave. Yeah, fuck off. But you ain't welcome. Um, because we're on to big things. More importantly, obviously, I've touched on the DJing. Mm-hmm. But myself and Jelly Phipps, what are we doing, mate? We are going on tour. Correct. Around the UK doing our own DJ parties. How? Don't fuck it up, boys. <laughs> Don't get there with a crowd in front of you and ruin your legacy. Don't press pause. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So like, I press the wrong button. <laughs> oh, but, very easily done. Yeah, Could happen. but essentially, we have you ever been to Boundary Festival in Brighton? Yes. Oh, yes, yeah. I have. Yes. So basically, oh, yes, um, I have. <laughs> you got fucked there, didn't you? Did loads and loads of fucking loads of gear. Loads. I'm joking. You did. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Anyways, the people that put on that, right? <laughs> no. So we've teamed up with them as our tour managers. Yeah. So they're like, wait, they're, wait, wait, the guys who organise Boundary. Yeah, they yeah, run so like, Boundary, Land Beyond. Can we get free tickets? Yeah, like they're yeah. obviously like legit. So they're going to help us to like put on the actual show. And we want to make it like, rather than just us standing behind the decks and it being well boring. It's a just, party. just repetitive. Yeah, like we want to do an actual party. Where it's like unpredictable, like you don't know what's going to happen, and we're talking this could be it's going to get dodgy. Very loose. Like, Imagine very waffling, loose. but it's partying well as fuck. So's Jelly Fips. They've done a load of ganja. No, no, no. <laughs> but like, no, no, no. But they fucking you know. Wait, are, are you yes, gonna... they're going to be smoking splifters on stage. Probably. They, they might be. But what I'm saying is like it's going to illegal. Eh, we're in Amsterdam. Snoop Dogg gets away with David, it. David, only, <laughs> only on our Amsterdam tour. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that it's going to be crazy. And what we want to know, like genuinely, and can I put a poll in the description for people to vote on? If you would genuinely, 100%, pay between five and ten pounds to come and see one of these shows, like legitimately, can you vote on the poll after this uh, podcast? Yes. Thanks. Or no. Or no. Yeah, or, or, no. If, or if you wouldn't, vote Strong. no. Because like we're trying to gauge whether we need to fucking hire Wembley Stadium or fucking Piss Alley. Do you know what I mean? Like, or just some, do you, know, do you know what I'm saying? Like, we're just trying to gauge, like, are people up for this? Now, I can announce that our oh. first ever show oh, don't is in Brighton. It. Yeah. Wait, do we have a date? Represent yeah. August. Wait, the the August. The August. 26th. 27th. I think it's the 27th, isn't it? Games on 27th. Wait, has it, been, has it been postponed? Okay, I'm going to have to yeah. ring him. Ring him. Yeah, we'll ask Tom himself. Yeah, right, I'm going to ring the tour manager because I need I need confirmation on the date. One sec, one sec. Jeez, uh... Tommy boy. Right, listen. What date is our first, <laughs> first ever <laughs> show in Brighton? Hello, how are you? Our first ever show is booked in four. Oh. Friday. Friday. Friday, the... 27th of August. 
Yeah. Friday the twenty seventh of August. And England play on the Saturday. Okay, and what is the wait? What is the venue? They don't. They don't. Chalk. Bank holiday Friday. Chalk. At Chalk in Brighton, all right? Save the date, our first ever show live. Anyways, bro, we're going to crack on with the show now, but I'll uh, call you afterwards. All right, Gizzy, uh, take care, yeah. You too, brother. Bye. So um, if you're from Brighton... Or not. Ideally, Chalk? Chalk? Sussex... What used to be the horn? What used to be yeah. the horn, okay. right? It's yeah, now yeah, yeah. new venue. It's going to be 1,000 people. I think really? it's a thousand people. It is, I swear it's the day before England play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no mate, bro, this is in August, mate. This is this is in oh, August. This is August. August. We need, August. We need yeah. to see as well, like, this is really going to be a representation because it's going to be around Freshers, our tour, our actual tour. So it's going to be going around all the uni towns. This is going to be a representation of what uni's better in Brighton. What, oh, what, which uni's going to be better? Oh, yeah, because we basically, like, a lot of people go to Brighton uni, a lot of people go to Sussex, right? A lot of people say that dumb people go to Brighton, intelligent people go to Sussex, and I just thought that was playing wrong. So we wanted to Sussex. get a little thing where it's like, if everyone from those respective unis could come along, and basically you're representing yourself. We're Brighton. Gonna, that's all we're going to give away, but it's going to be a fucking mucky night. Brighton uni has much better freshers. I'll say really? that now. I can confirm. Really? So you're going down the old college house party vibes. Yes, yeah. yes. I like that. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be sick. Like, can it's we gonna be, come it's to, gonna the, be sick. to the first part? Right, yeah, you get yeah, yeah, me. Well, this is the thing that we're gonna be doing, right? And this is why we need you to follow right now. Well, we don't need, but I say you do. Get right? your phone out right <laughs> now. <laughs> follow us. Uh, uh, it's called what? Parallel Nine, Nine Tour. Yeah. It's on screen now. Parallel Number Nine Tour. Right, because on there we're going to be giving giving away one set of VIP tickets to every show. You know what that means? We'll select a certain group. No, you're not. No, 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 that's exactly no, no, what it means. Completely random. No, no, no. Genuinely, because we have girlfriends. I anyway. think we're also going to do a thing of like, if you're in the first thousand followers, we're going to pick one person to like FaceTime. Or yeah, Zoom. so that's that's what we're going to do. The first. 10,000 followers of Parallel 9. We are going to be basically picking you at random, sliding in your DMs and FaceTiming you. Correct. Right, because we're, yeah, we're basically starting from scratch with this completely. So we're deploying some nice tactics I to, can choose 10 to hopefully to interact with you guys. But yeah, 10 like, 10, I think... 10,000. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's, we're not going to put a number on it, but um, <laughs> yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing. Now, genuinely, like, what do you boys think of this? Do you think, mate, that's going to flop? That's going to do nothing? Or do I you think, think it's an alright idea? Two, I think it'll go one or two ways. Either well, you're, you're, obviously. No, as in, <laughs> no, no, because it could just be like it could just be all right. What, just like oh, it was a bit average. Yeah, like so I think that's it worse. Could go more than two. You'd rather you'd rather be worse, like bad. Than I average. think that. Go on, with buddy. Students at the certain age, they've grown up watching this. They've seen everything. Yeah. I would like to think if they hear some proper raunchy tunes being played in that freshers environment after a year of a pandemic, yeah. it's freshers, it can't not go wrong. The, the oh, only way it's going to go wrong is if you're actually shit. Yeah, yeah. unless we're fucking shit. If you're, which like, if you're uh, actual shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You're but this is the thing, mate. Our tour manager came round to like one of our sort of party things, but it was just me, Elliot, and him to essentially judge us DJing. And he told me he was ready to have the sit down chat of like, bruv, you're not good enough. Like you think you're good, but you're shit. And like, that's what was so interesting because obviously we played and this is a guy that's run events for years and years, big festivals. And he was like, boys, you're ready. Like he was like, you're ready. And this is like, he was excited about it. Now, the interesting thing as well on top of that is we're going to be looking to make, we're, we, we are making a documentary on the whole process. So like at these different events, like we're gonna be talking, getting getting you guys involved in the documentary. It's gonna be, mate. It's gonna be silly. Like it's gonna get out of hand. Very, very. <laughs> yeah. It turns into the. Um, but yeah. Oh, what's that festival that went tits up? Fire, fire, fire festival. Fire festival. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. That's why we've got people that we like trust and that are yeah, like yeah, veterans yeah. in the game because yeah. we want to make this show like sick. You need bubbles, smoke. A lot. Oh, that's very B good. Bubbles. Think, think bubbles. bigger than that. Mate, what? Uni students don't want to be covered in wet bubbles. Shall think we? about what? that. Should we just reassure <laughs> the waffling viewership, listenership? Like, obviously, you going on tour, that sounds like you're away for like six months and there's going to yeah, be no waffling. Oh, okay, yeah. No, what, so, but how well, long have you gone for? Is yeah, waffling so, going to carry on? So basically, we're going to do like a few um, few shows in Brighton to like get ready because like, I think we've never performed together live ever at a venue full of people. 
and who's got a history of bottling it in front of live crowds? <laughs> Go on, Weller. <laughs> don't fuck your life up again. Anyways, do you want to see it? Go and see it. Five pounds. I'm selling it. I'm selling it. The though. first show. If you're going to go to any show, go to the first one. So basically, yeah, we're doing a few warm-up shows in Brighton, and then we're going to be going on tour around different uni towns um, this winter. Now, the big thing is, is obviously we want to gauge, like, which cities should we come to. Mm-hmm. So we're going to do another poll on our Instagram, Parallel 9 Tour, um, where we're basically asking you, where do you want us to come and do a, do a show? So make sure you vote on that. You're representing yourself. I'd recommend Exeter. Recommend Exeter after they bullied us. <laughs> but Called you a pedo, Rob. I think they're talking to you. You're going to be gone for like what a couple of yeah, weeks. Yeah, so this yeah the tour the tour would be over two weeks. So obviously we're planning to do waffling fifteen episodes in a row, so fifteen weeks running, and then take a small gap. So it's going to fall within one of those small gaps, or worst comes to worst, pre-record. literally we'll pre-record an extra one, and we might miss a week. We might miss a week, yeah. but. Look, but it's, you'll it's, still get your 15. Yeah, waffling, waffling is still like very much alive. Logistically, if you're doing back to back days every day, right, for yeah, two weeks. Not every day. It would be like two days on, one day off. Two days on, one either, day off. Either way, are you drinking? Yeah. yeah 100%. Bro, this is the thing. This thing. We've been we've training. We've been training, bro. <laughs> we, we can these, do four these, days. these support bubble parties, like we've been really trying to train them. Uh, train and we obviously want to see, like, which out of the, the cities around the UK are like real party animals. Because obviously, you know, we're going to be going back to back. We want to see who can have it large. Yeah, large. What, do you know what, what I mean? What's the level at the point you can't actually DJ? How uh, we've yet to get to that level. You've yet to get to what, that is level. What, is it like, what, too fucked? Yeah. No, because we were having this conversation Surely you need before. to find that level, right? Well, we need to get to that level. You need to find that level. Because what if you're so nervous, you're just shot in, shot in, shot in. And, and then before you know, you like, go. you can't even, like, tap your foot. Uh, we get so better. Fun. The more the thing, the more drunk we get, the more better we get. Because it's like, you get more, like, you don't give a fuck. But it's more, a certain more, point. Yeah, more. there's got to be a fresh <laughs> yeah, but, like, yeah, but, but then you've got we, the old, you know. What, the gear? Huh? You don't take gear, mate. That's you. You do bring it up a lot. Yeah, you do yeah, talk about it a lot. You bring it up all the time, Theo. You're trying just, to tell us something, no, buddy. No, I'm going to do a triathlon. We don't advocate any of that. Oh, I thought you were going to say I want to do a line. <laughs> no, we're not doing any lines. We're very, very, very good boys. Something else that our tour manager has put on the notes for us to mention here is that we could... Pick someone, like come to their house and host a party Maybe at their house. We could do pre-drinks or I'd something. Be yeah, like we could do, I no, we could what? do. What? Were you coming and fucking up my house? We're not no, 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 no. Not one. No, of you'd me. have a party. Go on, sell it a bit more, lads. No, 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 no. But what essentially all we'd be doing is they'd be having the party anyway, and we just, just DJ it. We de- we basically Spotify. DJ. Imagine we come and DJ your pre-drinks. <laughs> As long as you provide the, as long as they be, provide the beverages be and the maggies. Funny, but the way it just, so you come and just go in the corner of my living room. Yeah, the way yeah, yeah, the way exactly you sold it then was it. No, it like, be quite that's exactly, exactly, exactly. We probably what take the DDJ four hundred. You don't go to parties, do you? Wait, have you ever been to a what? uni party? Oh, Luke fucking came at you, and I'm the one getting the fucking. Beer. No, but it's just like. Obviously, <sighs> wait, because we've got uni girlfriends. Oh yeah, we have uni girlfriends. So, like, have you ever been to like a uni party? <laughs> have you ever been to a fucking uni, you virgin? Yeah, so you've been to a party yes. in someone's kitchen where someone's DJing in the corner, yeah? Yes, doing loads of stuff in there. No, oh, loads of fucking gear again, right? No, oh my god. So imagine, imagine that, but we're the DJ in the corner. At Cohen's, it would pop. Exactly, that would be, it'd be fun. Anyways, it was just an idea that Tom Rocks, our tour manager, wrote down oh, in the notes. Tom tour Ugh, basically, he just thought it was a good idea. I mean, it could work, it could work, but um, yeah. Should we wrap it there? Yeah, Is there think... anything else to say? I, I, I don't want Okay, it. hold up, hold up, go. I don't want people to be like, fuck's sake, guys, you didn't talk about this. Is there anything that oh, we've we're not missed? Gonna, we're not going to know until the video goes yeah, out. Yeah, we actually don't know. Shit. Regardless, if people are asking, oh, yeah, are you going to do haunted abandoned videos again? Maybe. You have to wait and see. We're going to do another poll. <laughs> we're going to do another poll. No, no, no. Yeah, like, basically, never say never. I mean, if you want us to do abandoned never videos, like, let us know, because, like... You know. Where'd you even go? Yeah, though? that's the thing. We got everywhere shut down, mate. Like when we were doing those videos, like literally the amount of kids that would be, that would be going into abandoned videos and hurt, uh, abandoned buildings and hurting themselves was actually like oh. mad. And all the security of like pretty much every like big cool abandoned place has been like locked up, like proper. I'm not gonna lie, boys. I'd quite like to see you take it up a notch if you were to do it again. Or to do it even more crazy. Go like 
you see some of these like fucking mental places in America yeah, where there are like we'd have to go to a different phys- physically like oh. there is like proven evidence that oh. shit has gone on in these yeah, places. I'd like to see you go somewhere like that. Yeah, actually, at the moment, we're going to well, somewhere a bit. You're fucked. going to these like yeah. pussy places that have no evidence of actual ghosts. What? Yeah. Well, so we you want to okay? I mean, we, go somewhere. The, the thing is, in order to get into places like that, you have to actually like prearrange it. Whereas, like, the good thing about ours is the adventure of like getting into this random but abandoned surely building. That's a different part of the excitement is knowing that there is proof. I don't know if I'm scared of it anymore, you know. You know, and what made it good is that I was terrified. Whereas now we've done it so many times, right? I, it needs to be genuine fucked. And for me, the biggest danger is. Almost like borderline trespassing. There are places though that <laughs> actual like uh, ghost hunters are scared to go to, and they've been to and like shit themselves. They've had more experience than you guys. Yeah, so. th- and that's what I say. I, I say if you do it, I reckon you do need to take it up a notch and maybe like contact like official ghost hunters. Yeah. We are and official they, ghost hunters. Get some recommendations. Yeah, yeah no, we'll do our research. But yeah, basically, if there's a demand for that, like if that is something you want to see, just like let us know. So, without laughing or breaking eye contact, unzip the pants of someone in the group, Theo. I don't have zips on my pants. Neither. No, you have to do it. None of us do. Or you have to pick someone to act out this with. Well, right then, yeah, guys, follow us on uh, <laughs> Facebook and uh, Instagram. Twitter. Yeah, follow us on Instagram, Waffling Podcast, and Twitter, Waffling Pod. Obviously, check out our individual pages as well. <laughs> and the, lo- the big message from this is let's spread love. Yeah. Love is Honestly, love. there's way too much hate. It's exhausting for everyone, even the people giving it. All right, and we're back in the game. Let's have it large, and we will see you next time on the Waffling Podcast. Peace.